Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode. Today what we are going to do is, for one, we're going to need to figure out how to get a lot of poop. Didn't think this was going to be a thing, but we need a poop farm. So how we're going to start on that journey is we are going to make a incredibly efficient breeding pen. So that way we can just have unlimited animals and then we're going to siphon them from the breeder into a separate pen area, hopefully, so they just generate a ton of poop. And then that way we can collect it all. So we're going to go on that journey today and create the breeding pen and check all that out. All right, if you haven't been here before, this is Shabby Does Gaming. I'm Shabby. And we're just going to jump right into this, all right? So you can see here, if you were checking out the last episode, I have added this in. So I found out over here, uh, this is a sand node, so an automatic unlimited amount of sand. So I put an excavator on there into a smelter into storage and what the smelter is doing is it is turning all of this into glass so and there's a ton in here and it is very slow apparently so you know i'm going to take some of this and i'm just going to manually bring it over and do it over here as well but this does turn out it just takes a long time for glass to make which is why i set this up so maybe uh, we'll get two of those going but i'll just go set these up over here and we'll get that afk where we're going because we're going to need a lot of glass um I'm starting on the enormous farm that will be to build the rocket, and that's also why we need poop, because we need to make um, essentially like a nitroglycerin kind of thing with the poop to make gunpowder, basically, or like black powder base, or whatever the game may call it. So that's what the journey for poop is for, because that seems to be the hardest piece to get. There we go. All right, so yeah, so what I did, we're going to go up here. I took out one half of the wheat farm because I didn't need two, and when I built this one as the tutorial for you guys, if you haven't checked it out, please do because it's going to help you a lot. And he's glitching out in the corner. We'll fix him in a bit. But it was bugging out because these were too close, so they were trying to get at each other's wheat and getting stuck or falling off because they can fall through these if they push really hard. So we went and just found a way around that. So I just got rid of this, and this is where we're going to build the breeding pen six. I didn't need two anyways. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start off, and actually I'm going to grab these new pieces here. Uh, they came out today with, they called it tin in the in the updates, but in the game it's called galvanized steel, and they have a, still have a Japanese update. So, you know, it, not a lot of description, but it's the first metal flooring and walling that they've used. So I'm just going to drop a couple of these down. We're going to see how it looks. Pretty ugly, but, you know, that's what we'd expect for galvanized steel at least. So that's pretty accurate. It's like scrap metal. Not bad. So first, I'm just going to start off with right here, our breeder. And we're just going to get this as our start point. And I'm just going to put it like right in the middle because I want it. Okay. There we go. We've got that there. All right. I did grab two just in case I want to set up two of these. We'll kind of see how that goes. might have to recenter that a bit but it's fine because what I've noticed is I had at first I just had like a square room like this and they were having a hard time getting back in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have these things dump right out actually dump right out onto a conveyor belt system and they I'm just gonna have them automatically start moving on a conveyor and fall right on top and then have an overflow of that fall out of the side or something and then conveyor belt them into a separate pen area to where they'll just live and poop. And then basically a giant stack of these will just sit here on top. So we'll figure out how to get that funnel in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just tilt this sideways here. Okay, can't put it there, so that should be fine, though. So they'll come in, stack up here. All right, we'll, we'll do a test run on it. We'll see how that goes. And then... My thought process is that they'll just keep stacking up because these cows just like to stand on top of each other. Oh, did that actually let me put that there? Oh yeah, there we go. So we'll just do that too then. That'll give us a little extra security there. Alright, yeah, so they'll come in, they'll pop out, come up here, fall down, fill this back up, and... Theoretically, I'm hoping it'll just get both sides of it, just being on one. If not, we'll move this a little more left, and that'll probably help us. Actually, I'll probably just move this as far to the right as possible, just to help there. 
and then cows will keep stacking up, filling the spot up, and then overflow. So I gotta make it go higher by one. So I'm thinking, because this game, there's no real physics in this game, so my thought is pretty simple. Just do. And which way do I want this to go? So once they flow out, they'll go that way. So I'm thinking, because these things, they'll just go straight through that and then pick up on the conveyor and start moving again. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to have these come over here. So we got that. I've got two cows here. All right. So I like this. Let's test it with myself first. Actually, you know, let's put up another little steel wall here. Aren't you not going to... Oh, no, there. Oh, it's there. I can barely see it. All right. There we go. All right, so, boom, babies get popped out. They come onto here. Catch, catch. We'll put up some walls, too, just in case. I'm not sure if we're going to need them. All right, then they fall in here. Ooh, is that too high or too low? That's definitely, I think that's too low. We need to go up one higher. All right, here they go. And while, while those first couple get going, let's clean this bit up here just so we can see again. Oh, there it goes. It's hanging out, it's hanging out. Another cow. Okay, it, it fell off, but with how many there are, hmm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering how I can prevent them from falling back down. I mean, it's not going to matter because they just come back on the conveyor belt anyways. So, but look, they are stacking up. Yep, perfect, just like I thought. Oh, now the cow's stuck. Okay. Maybe once I have a ton of them, it'll just kind of, they'll kind of hold themselves in place. Because I don't really think there's not much I can do about that there. I can't put a wall here. Yeah, I think that's fine. You know what? I think that first conveyor belt was fine. Let's just tweak that again real quick here. Yes, yes. I thought there wasn't going to be enough headroom for them to fall through, but there is, so it's okay. Yeah, even if they just keep falling down, I mean, it's fine. They're going to breed at such an exponential rate that eventually... So let's just clean up. We'll check back on that in a couple seconds here. You know what? I'll take you over. We'll get this out of our way just so we can see what we're doing over there. Yeah, it's not even going to let me pick that up. Oh, this could be the moment here. But not yet. Just keep glitching. Yeah, look, see now they're just stacking right on top of each other like that. That's exactly what I want to see. And then broken physics. Cow's dead. It's rebreeding again. Yeah. We'll check back. If we've got cows in here, 
we're in business. And we'll figure out poop collecting. Maybe how to see if they can make poop faster. I did try the... What do they call it? Oh, I don't have. I don't think I have it on me anymore. No. I'll go look at it again real quick. But I made a... It's over here. This is my original test house. It's like a... Uh, a gathering pen or something? I forget what they call it. But essentially you can put an animal in it and it just... Livestock farm. And it just sucks the resources out of them. Poop is not one of them. Cows just gave me... You know, I wonder what maybe a villager or Anubis would give me. That's yeah, a lot of fighting, though. And, yeah, these villagers here, they come out of the tables. I don't know if it's every time. I've watched them quite a few times the other day, and nothing was ever spawning out of them. So I don't know if it was just bugged at the time, and then the content, that patch that came out today, they fixed this. Um, I was just looking for new items, really. The bugs weren't really too much of my importance so but i noticed when i was watching them today these villagers were coming out every time so i put them back in here just to see if this place will fill up with villagers then maybe we'll have something to do with them they also poop so you know this could just be another little poop farm that i can start working with yeah we're gonna need a lot of poop it's kind of crazy so all right let's go take another peek at this otherwise we'll just go take a take a stroll over to there's the milk. Yeah, they're not getting high enough. Are they breeding still? Oh, they sure are, right? Hmm. was working for a bit, not so much now. There we go. We'll see how that does. I'm going to put... I'm just going to do this so they can't really... Alright guys, welcome back over here. So I made a few changes over at the farm because it was still not quite doing what I wanted it to. And then I just came back over here real quick just to take a good, to pick up all my iron just so that this doesn't fill up while we're working on the farm and doing some other things as well. So we've got this ready. There we go. Now we're going to head back and I'll, on the way there I'll tell you what we did. So it was working when I left, so I'm assuming it's still good to go. I had a decent little flow going. And what I ended up having to do was I had to change it because essentially I needed to make it so that only one square of movement was available for these cows. And with the way it was set up, essentially the breeding pen is not not fully two tiles long, but it's about two tiles worth of space. So if it if there's anything sticking outside of one tile's worth of space, the cows will try and move around in it. And that was what was causing our issues before, where I was trying to get them to stack on top of each other almost, and essentially just lag themselves upwards. So that way we could, you know, get them to move sideways and laterally after that. So I fixed it by, and I'll show you when we get over there. We're on our way there now. I fixed it by essentially having a third of the breeding panel sticking off the edge and then I put a wall right above it so that way when cows are there and they land in they can't move to the left or sorry it's the right from that perspective they can't move in that direction they just run into the wall and there's only one tiles worth of space for the cows to sit on so that's all they're able to do is stand there essentially some might fall down but if they do they just get right back on the conveyor belt and just follow back in so everything was working pretty good when I left. I started getting an actual overflow into the cow pen. So we're going to go land here and check all this out now. Oh yeah, you can look at them all down there. We're going to have to make that much bigger. So just going to go take a look at them. Yep. Perfect. Look at them all. 
yeah, we're going to make this much bigger so that way we can just fit more cows in here. And then we're going to... Actually, you know what? This might just be fine because I just want the poop. Like right here. I want that poop. So what I'm probably going to do is build one more tile out. Put down fencing on the other side and see if the byproduct, in, the, in this case the poop, will suck through the fencing and onto a conveyor belt. And then that way, all the... And if not, maybe I'll just turn this whole thing into a conveyor belt and they'll just be rolling around and then the poop will just kind of go right in. Because that's all I want here is the poop. I don't care about their milk or any of that right now. So I just want the poop. That's the whole point to this so I can start making the... The black powder so we can get going on this uh, rocket because I need like 99 of them and it's not cheap to make it's a lot of poop yep so see that one popped right out so what I did cuz yeah so let's break this down real quick here so coming down here and I had this hollowed out just so I could have a space to stand so you can see above right there it's sticking over the edge and now some cows will kind of glitch to the right there when they're when the prongs are moving back and forth and when one breeder goes in the other kind of is trying to fall in but it misses so oh, one just fell off the back there check that out too so they'll go to the right side there and continue on into the breeding into the poop pen then otherwise so they come out then they fall down here go up the conveyor like these bad boys are doing and they'll fall in there and so they'll either, they'll do one of three things. Well, maybe four now since I saw one fall off the back. I'll see how that happened. Must have glitched. Through. Oh, I have an open wall there. Nothing I can do about that, though. Um, actually, maybe I can. I'll have to check. I, I'm not sure if I can get there, get a wall there. I think there was an issue with the breeder. But they'll stack up, and they'll glitch through. Ooh, yep, see, a lot of those died from pressure. So they'll either just walk off by themselves... And they'll just come on to here. Or they'll just walk back down there and go in the breeding, which is fine. They'll... Yeah, I need to put a wall there. They're walking off the edge. They'll f they'll spawn up top here and then just fall down. Or they'll glitch through the top because they get so tall and break the physics. And they'll pop up here and then continue down the sides. And then, you know, they'll take one of a couple paths. They'll take this path over here or they'll take that path. And then once they stack up so high, they start to, like, walk around and they'll they'll break out of that like that right there so nothing to worry about and then that one's over there I gotta clean up a little bit there's some extra pieces from our first failed attempt but yeah when I came back from checking the iron the first time um, there was just a mass of them and they were doing nothing they were just piling up and I couldn't get them to actually pop up so that's where I came up with this plan to basically have this extra tile here Get out of my way, cow. Are you going to let me... Yeah, it doesn't let me put it here. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, if they want to come out here, they can. We'll just put them right back in with the pathing here. There we go. They'll just jump right back on here now. So there's the easy fix. Let them just do it themselves. They can come over here if they want to. Did I get the right one? Yep. There we go. Now, I figure if you place this a little better, and, like, I bet if I... Actually, I might even just be able to take this piece off here and just plug up that wall but it's not a big deal so I'm not going to worry about it and then you can just have that hole there and it's just one less thing to think about but conveyor belts are a single iron a piece it's pretty much a joke when you think about it so ha like even all those extras over there I'm not even, probably not even going to grab them just because they're so cheap it's not worth my time and then yeah I need to update the farm it's looking like it's getting a little bugged out again and I think it I just need to reload because I've seen that happen a few times where I've just reload and then everything kind of starts working again so we'll check on that in a bit but yeah this was the automatic breeding pen essentially so 
you know, again, just quick run through. Have it sticking out over the edge of a tile right there. So that way, when they breed in, they have a full tile to spawn into and drop off of. You want them to drop down. And then they'll go get a little conveyor belt system so they go up above and then drop right back in from one tile above and then they'll pile up and start getting in there you just need the walls the walls are very important you, need, you have to have this half wall here or they will just walk off the sides and then you can run out of cows and if they're all gone and the breeder won't fill back up and you do need the walls around it so they don't fall off the back this helps to just pop out extra cows you don't need it they'll just keep going higher sometimes kind of depends how the game's physics is working so and then this piece was just a, a little voyeur spot so i could see what was going on as i afk'd and then you just got to set up a couple terminals to bring them into a little pen and then with that i mean you can do multitude of things with that you can set this up so it cooks the meat so you could have a hot pot like if i wanted i could put a hot pot at the end of this one here and a normal and just let these ones fall in and then with the hot pot, I could ha put some cooking oil in there made from corn, and you can make fried chicken, which is weird if you cook cow, cow meat, and uh, oil, you get fried chicken. So you can do that. It's it's not the best, but it's something. It's automatic, so you'll never actually have to go get food again. And then you know, and then just have one side fall down. So you can have this set up as a multi-tier system, like like even the ones off the back there. You could have that set up to fall down onto a small generator for instance um, there are better ways to get energy in batteries but that's also not a bad one because you can just have it set up so when the battery pops out it goes onto another conveyor and into a chest and it's just one more thing that's automatic and you'll just get a couple cows going into that and you know it's just a little bit of battery so it's something else all right well there's this now so that's all set yeah there they go so that's all set so again that's how you get an automatic farm, and you can do so much with this. Like we were saying, you can just set up different different platforms for different avenues for them to escape, and they all go to different means. So set this up the way you want. You can make it a little prettier, too. This was obviously just a rough draft as we ran through. And so other than that, that was it, folks. So thanks for coming by. Uh, again, this was Shabby Does Gaming. Please check out anything else. What I'll do is um, I'm probably not going to bother making a tutorial on how to build it. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, so I'll probably get a, maybe get one or two of those going. Maybe, maybe I'll set up another breeder. You know, we're going to see how these things go here. They're not really doing too much, but the poop, this is all I care about. So I'll set up multiple, multiple means to get poop if that's what we're going to have to do. Cause the grind is ridiculous. So I'll show you that real quick just before we log off here. So the, Sorry, cow. A little laggy right now. Oh, wow. Get my energy back. Yeah, so for that rocket... I'm going to need to restart here. It's 99 of a bunch of things. And, you know... So, like, the excavators here, like, it's hard, but it's not, like, the excavator and stuff, that's actually relatively easy. It's just a grind. Like, we just got to get a bunch, we got to get 500 batteries, 500 bioethanol, and um, 5,000 cogs. So, it's just a grind. And then it's the same thing for, we needed 99 of the breeding, right here, uh, breed improvement plant. So, we needed 99 of these. So, uh, this is why I got the color colored glass going we, we're gonna need 500 or sorry um 100 of them so oh no that's actually not bad 500 yeah i don't know why i thought that was much harder 500 glass um 500 logs 500 more batteries again just time and then what was the other stuff here for the rocket Uh, the automatic assembly and then the black gunpowder. So the automatic assembly, that one will be a little more of a grind, more manual, but not not the worst again. So for the automatic assembly, we need to make two conveyor belts. So that's just going to be 200 iron, nothing. Um, so Yep, 
200 iron. Then we're going to need 100 of each stone workbench, copper blacksmith, loom, and a hatter. And that's all very basic stuff. Hatter, some copper. So, you know, the hatter, actually the hatter is going to be probably a big one with the sheep sheep wool so we're definitely going to need to set up a sheep farm and get everything to die and then get all that wool from them and the leather as well so we'll get that going um and then a loom talons so you know a couple farms that need to be set up but really 200 um talons not a lot you can just run around an island just go kill a bunch of stuff and you can get all that so that's what we're going to work on then for that that black powder um, was that made? Yeah, that was made here. So for that, th that's the biggest thing here. So we're going to need 100 salt pepper. So, and then some sulfur, which we can just, you can just mine sulfur. But the salt pepper for 100 of those, we need, I think it's two poop per salt pepper. Let's see. Yeah, two poop for a salt pepper. So we need 200. So that's why we're getting that farm going. I'm just going to. Get rid of those logs just so I can pick that up. There we go. So, but yeah, that's really it. So, all right. Thanks for coming. This was Shabby Does Gaming, and we'll see you next time.